y'all doing tonight? Cosmos Comedy Club. Is that it, really? Come on, Dad! Yes! Right, fantastic. That is what I like to hear. Oh, man, I am so happy to be here tonight. It is amazing high-fiving you people. Oh, man, especially you, sir. You right there. Oh, my. You, dude, you give amazing high-five. You know what? High-five and you're amazing high-five. Yes! Oh, that is what I like to hear. Yes! Oh, let's do it. Come on, let's do it. Yeah! No, I mean, seriously, let's, let's do it. Let's all have sex. Big Kazi's group orgy. It'll be awesome. I mean, especially you. Oh, you're right there. You are, you are sexy. No, no. You know what? High five for me wanting to have sex with you. Come on, right here. Yes! Oh! Nice. Oh, man. Great to be here. So I know what you all are thinking right now, other than I am a huge pervert. Um... <laughs> One guy. Yeah, he's a pervert! Woo! Woo! Us, us both. Yeah, both of us. Oh, man. So I know what you all are thinking right now. What is Clay can doing up here, doing stand-up comedy? Yeah. And, uh... I get that a lot, you know? But I don't really know what to say. You know? Because it's not really an insult. You know what I mean? It's not like someone's telling me I look like uh, Rosie O'Donnell or Flava Flav or something, you know. But at the same time, it's not really a compliment either. You know, it's not like someone's being like, hey, you kind of look like George Clooney. You know? And, and George Clooney, man, like, he, I mean, what does he want? World's sexiest man now, like 50 years running? Like, my God, he is sexy. And, you know, and Clay Aiken is nowhere even close to George Clooney. Like, if celebrities were cuts of meat, you know, George Clooney would be like grade A, prime cut beef, you know? Clay Aiken would be somewhere between a hot dog that fell in the gutter and llama anus. Yeah, that's right, llama anus, the other dark meat. Oh, man. Well, uh, speaking of llama anus, I was at my job the other day. Yeah, I can tell some of y'all feel the same way. And, uh, I overheard two, uh, two women talking, and, uh, one of them was really angry, because her daughter's boyfriend, they've been dating for years, and she, he still hadn't popped the question to her. And she was so angry, she used the phrase, well, psh, why buy the cow do you, when you can get the milk for free? You know, and if y'all don't know, it basically means, you know, why marry the girl when you can nail her for free, you know? And I thought about that, and, you know, I, I was like, wow, that phrase is complete bullshit. It is, because guys know, but ladies, y'all know how much money we spend trying to get that cow liquored up just for the possibility of milk? <laughs> oh yeah, not even guaranteed milk. Because half the time, who gets in your way, guys? That's right, her half her friend. <laughs> yeah, and she's always got the same lines, too. She's always like, moo, moo, moo. <laughs> this is a cow's night out. And moo, moo, moo. She just broke up with her bullfriend. And moo, moo, moo. Quit suckling on her udder. She's passed out. <laughs> Jeez. Get out of my face, heifer. <laughs> no, and then, uh, and the ladies, y'all came with a saying for us, it was, um, why buy the pig when you only get a good old sausage? Yeah. Oh, really? You're clapping for that? Yeah, such a little sausage, then, uh, why don't you let me stick in your ass? I look, I just, no. All right, but seriously, such a little sausage, if you're like, just a little prick, I'll be over with. Seriously, put your saying where your butt is. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> oh, man. And then there's actually, I heard this one recently. It was um, that guys think about sex every seven seconds. And surprisingly, this is not true. Because if it was, like, that would be the most annoying ADD shit ever, wouldn't it? Oh, my God, we'd never get anything done. We'd be at work or something, at a meeting, be like, <clears throat> well, uh, according to this chart over here, if we eat titties... Man, where, where was I? I uh, all right, if we look at this chart over here, if we move production to this plant over here, blowjob. 
Oh, man, you know, the, the, he's all flustered. The owner of the company gets up. He's like, you know, calm down, Bob. I understand what you're trying to say. You're right. We need to implement vagina monologue. <laughs> Wait a second. Vagina monologue? That's not sexy at all. Actually, I don't know if you guys have heard. Uh, they're actually making a, another vagina monologue. That's right. It's called Vagina Monologue 2, A Bloody Revenge. Oh, yeah. wow. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, you LOL for me, baby, that's right, yeah, you LOL for me, baby. <laughs> uh, in case you guys don't know, LOL is internet lingo for laugh out loud, and uh, I love the internet, man, love the internet. Because over the internet, you can be whoever you want to be, and they can't figure out otherwise. <laughs> that's true. Seriously, over the internet, I'm a big muscular black man with a ten and a half inch penis. Yeah. And they can't figure out otherwise. I'm actually a scrawny white guy with a 10 and a half inch penis. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, all right, I take that back. You know, some of the smart ones can figure it out. Because they'll be like, wait a second. If you're a big muscular black man with a 10 and a half inch penis, why is your screen name Ryan Seacrest for life? <laughs> all right, that's my time, y'all. My name's Craig Smith. Y'all have a fantastic